The year is 2025 and a nuke is heading for the USA. Obviously many people will be wiped out and it will pretty much be the end of the world. But what happens to the president of the USA? Well, the president will likely be totally fine, as they'll still need to govern what and who is left behind. And the reason why the US president will survive is because the USA have something called the Boeing E-4B. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at the US government's secret end of the world airplane. Before the nuke hits, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So first off, what is this secret plane you likely have not heard anything about before? Well, the US government owns a few airplanes, which are Boeing E-4Bs. These are known as Advanced Airborne Command Posts. Their strategic command and control military aircrafts operated by the USAF, US Air Force. The E-4B is basically a mobile command post for the US government, mostly the President of the United States. Right now, the USA has four of these, and they're $350 million each. That means $1.4 billion has been spent on these doomsday planes. These planes are very low tech. In fact, there's no electronics on the planes whatsoever. The reason why the planes are all analog is in case of an EMP attack. An EMP going off would cause all electronics to not work. So that's why this aircraft is old school. The aircraft also has a built-in stair lift, as I don't think any stair lift operators will be around at the end of the world. It also has state-of-the-art direct fire countermeasures. This plane can pretty much survive any weather conditions, even a nuclear blast. It's also capable of housing a crew of 112 people. And you'd better hope that you're one of those people if the end of the world comes. The airplane can also carry airplane fuel and refuel while in the air. The plane can also be fully airborne for about 40 hours, which is enough to fly somewhere safe if a nuclear blast hits. The aircrafts were actually built all the way back in 1973, but they still fly today and they've been upgraded heavily over the years. The aircraft is very large and has many decks. The flight deck has a station for the pilot, co-pilot and flight engineer. The middle deck, which is the most secure area, has a conference room. Inside it is a conference table which can sit 9 people. There's also a battle station where top military brass and the Secretary of Defense would be in the event of a nuclear attack. This is basically where they would plan their next military moves. There's also a large area for the crew to sleep in as it can house over 100 crew members. On board, there's also 12,000 MREs. These are military ready to eat meals, because escaping an apocalypse can make you kind of hungry. The president will not sleep with the rest of the crew, instead they will be in the executive suite. This is likely where the secretary of defense and president will sleep. And believe it or not, there's also a press area on the plane. After all, who wouldn't want to read about the end of the world in the New York Times? But it's true, in the apocalypse, 17 journalists will be on board this airplane. They will be very carefully selected and from news gathering organizations like Reuters and Associated Press. You may think this is kind of silly, but really it's pretty useful. After all, it's the only way citizens will get information from the president if the end of the world was to occur. There's also a very large communication center on board the aircraft. This plane is equipped with electronic communications, but also old fashioned communications too. They have super high, high, low and super low frequency radios. And when the plane is in flight, there's a 5 mile antenna sticking out behind this aircraft. This allows the plane to communicate using the most low frequency radios possible. But you're probably looking at this plane and asking, what's with the bump? Well, this bump is actually a radome. Radomes are often seen outside military bases and they're a lot bigger. Basically, its job is to conceal and protect antenna and satellites, which transmits communications. But where exactly are these planes located right now? Well, during times of great tension, for example the Cold War, they're stored at Andrews Air Force Base. But right now, they're stored at Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska. But 24-7 around the clock, there's always at least one of these planes with a full crew ready to take off at any time. After all, you never know when the end of the world may come. Also, when the president travels outside the country, an E-4B will follow behind. However, for security reasons, they don't land at the same airport as Air Force One. E-4Bs are also used to transport the Secretary of Defense of the USA. Now, luckily an asteroid hasn't hit and we haven't had a nuclear war, so these planes have never been used for their true purpose. But should that ever happen, you can take rest in knowing that 112 people will be fine. I suggest you guys get some high up government jobs or become good journalists, and then you can survive the apocalypse. 
Check out the poll in the top right corner and vote for if you think the apocalypse will happen in your lifetime. Personally, I hope not, but with all the crazy stuff that happens, you never know. If you want to see some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.